Welcome back everyone. In today's video we're going to be taking a peek at some locked doors around the world that people have been forbidden from opening. Sometimes it's to protect what's inside from you, sometimes it's to protect you from what's inside, and sometimes we have no idea what lies beyond that door. I don't have all the answers but I can tell you almost everything about these doors. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 scary locked doors that should never be opened. Starting off at number 10 now we have Vault B. Padman Abba Aswa Temple is one of the most sacred and popular temples in India. It's visited by many pilgrims and tourists all throughout the year. However, for all the visitors to the temple, there is one room that nobody can enter. They say it is a locked room filled with hidden treasures and shrouded in a deadly legend. This rumor seemed to actually come true when, in 2011, the Indian Supreme Court set about exploring the temple and documenting its belongings. They discovered six secret vaults with no latches on to open them. Inside five of them they found 22 billion dollars worth of jewels, statues and coins. Well they knew that five of the vaults contained that. Vault B has remained sealed ever since its discovery. They simply can't open it up. Nobody knows what lies beyond its gates. Because of this secrecy around Vault B, urban legends have begun to spread. People say that any attempts to open Vault B will unleash calamity on the locals. They point to the fact that one of the committee members actually lost their mother while trying to investigate what was inside. Vault B. Others insist that Vault B has some sort of hidden trick to it, that there is actually a hidden tunnel beneath the vault. Of course, if this is true, that only produces even more questions. Next up at number 9 now we have Chernobyl's basement. Those of you who have been watching my videos for more than a year or so now will know that I seem to never go long without talking about the Chernobyl nuclear power plant that exploded in Ukraine in 1986, spreading a toxic cloud over Europe and creating a dead zone around the town of Pripyat for decades to come. Although visitors are now permitted to go on special tours right up to the actual building, there is one place that people still cannot enter. Inside reactor 4 is a room that contains the elephant's foot, a dense mass of sand, glass, concrete and nuclear fuel that weighs 100 tons. It's the remains of the nuclear core that melted through its containment vessel. Now, At the time of the explosion, it was so radioactive immediately following the catastrophe that being exposed to it for just 300 seconds was enough to kill you within two days. Even today, the situation hasn't improved by much. These days, you won't be killed after spending a few minutes in there. It will take an hour. But that's still crazy if you think about it. Because of all this, the elephant's foot room remains totally sealed to the public, although I don't think it even really needs to be sealed. I think people are smarter than that. Moving on to number 8 now, we have Black Dolphin Prison. This prison is where the worst of Russian criminals are locked away. Almost 700 criminals are contained there, including child molesters, murderers, terrorists, cannibals, serial killers, and what the authorities simply refer to as maniacs. All prisoners are serving life sentences for their crimes. The inmates are kept in ice isolated cells with three steel doors. They are allowed 90 minutes of exercise a day and are kept under 24 hour supervision. Every 15 minutes a guard will check on all of the inmates. They are fed soup four times a day and are allowed no contact with the outside world. Prison guards even place blindfolds on new arrivals so that they cannot map out the prison to then plan an escape. It's a seriously dark place. Russia does not want a single prisoner there to escape. For Russia, the lock on these prison cells and the final lock on the prison doors are some of the most important in the whole country. Next up at number 7 now we have the first emperor's tomb. Deep under a hill in central China lies the first emperor of China's tomb. He died in 210 BC over 2000 years ago. He has remained undisturbed ever since. For centuries this was due to its location being a closely guarded secret and also out of respect. In recent years though, why has nobody been there? Well, the respect is definitely still there but some archaeologists say that this is because nobody actually has the technology technology to go in there and excavate it. There's also the fact that the moat that surrounds the tomb is an actual moat of mercury. Very poisonous. Next up at number 6 now we have North Brother Island. This island is located in the East River off the coast of South Bronx in New York. It's home to Riverside Hospital. It was built in 1855 in order to house patients with extremely infectious diseases such as typhus, tuberculosis, yellow fever and smallpox. During World War II it was used to house military veterans. Then the government put heroin addicts in there for treatment before finally closing it for good. People could understand why they closed the hospital but the authorities actually closed the 
entire island forever. New York now forbids anyone from ever visiting. Of course, this has sparked many theories about what is now inside Riverside Hospital. Some say it's haunted by the people who suffered there, including its most famous ghost, known as Typhoid Mary. Others say that people are still being contained there for secret government projects. As long as the building remains under lock and key, we may never know the answers. Moving on to number five now, we have the Sphinx Hall of Records. Rumor has it that a secret lies under the Great Sphinx in Egypt, the Hall of Records, an ancient library full of hidden information. It's said to contain piles of documents, scrolls, and lost information, even the whereabouts of the lost continent of Atlantis, if you're into that sort of thing. Those who push this theory believe that investigation into the existence of the Hall of Records has been blocked by the Egyptian government, further fanning the flames of a cover up. They point to seismic surveys that apparently suggest the existence of a large rectangular chamber 25 feet beneath the monument's front paws. Critics have called these theories pseudo archaeology, but the belief in a secret locked room below the Sphinx is still being pushed by many. Moving on to number four now, we have the Lascaux Cave. On September 12th, 18 year old Marcel Rabidat discovered a mysterious cave near the village of Montignac in France. He brought his friends back and they discovered paintings on the walls of animals. It wasn't until experts were called in that they realized just what they had found. The cave contained almost 600 paintings that dated back to over 17,000 years ago. They were made by Neolithic people and had become one of the most breathtaking examples of early human artwork ever discovered. The people who made this immortalized their life and the animals they depended on in ways which we had previously thought was beyond them. Their color schemes and 3D illusions have made historians rethink just how primitive our ancestors really were. The cave was opened up to the public in 1948, however in 1955 the heat, humidity and contaminants produced by the visitors had seriously damaged the paintings and mold began to grow. The cave was closed to the public in 1963. It now remains locked behind a door. Its ancient paintings of a long gone world are now shrouded in darkness. Moving on to number three now, we have Svalbard's Global Seed Vault. You may not have heard of this place, but it may just be our best defense if an apocalypse happens. This vault is buried inside a Norwegian mountain, just 810 miles south of the North Pole. It's protected by ocean, hundreds of miles of frozen wasteland, and even a few bears. If you manage to get there, the vault itself is deep inside the mountain. It's said to be able to withstand a nuclear holocaust or an earthquake. So, what is so important that it needs this? This kind of protection? Well, seeds. Yeah, seeds. Over a million seed samples are there. They represent over 13,000 years of agricultural history. If there is some sort of global disaster, some species or plants, or perhaps even all of them, might be under threat. If the plants and the species all die and we don't have any seeds left, it's going to be very hard or even impossible to bring that plant back to life. That's where this seed vault comes in. It could be a light in the darkness if the world as we know it ever comes to an end. Without plants, we wouldn't be able to survive for very long. The authorities who run the vault keep strict control of who can go through their big locked doors. The survival of the world may one day depend on it. Moving on to number two now, we have Area 51. No list of this nature would be complete without mentioning the famous Area 51. That's the nickname of Edwards Air Force Base, owned by the United States Air Force. The facility in Nevada is renowned for its ultra secrecy. Anyone who tries to even get close is turned around by the vigilant and 24 hour military security there. This, of course, has led many people to theorize about what exactly they are so secretive about. Many will tell you that it's a testing facility for advanced aircraft and weaponry. Others believe that it's actually a containment facility for a crashed alien spacecraft and its alien owners. Specifically, these conspiracists say it houses the remains of an alien crash landing in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. For this reason, many people fear what lies behind the many locked doors of Area 51. And finally at number one now, we have EC Grand Shrine. This is a Shinto shrine in Japan that is held in such high regard by many believers. It's so sacred that only members of the imperial family can enter. Nobody else is allowed to even see inside the shrine. As such, not very much is known about what's inside it or even what goes on in there. What we do know is that it represents an important part of the Shinto belief of death and the renewal of nature. Because of this, the entire shrine is burned to the ground every 20 years in this sort of death and renewal cycle. The current shrine that's there right now was rebuilt from
from the ashes in 2013, which means you may be able to witness a new one being burned and then rebuilt in 2033, if you're willing to wait that long. If you go before that though, you'll be left staring at the mysterious locked doors of this temple and wondering what secrets lie behind it. Alright guys, that was everything I could tell you about some of the most secretive locked doors on the planet. Do you have any theories about what lies behind them? Do you know of any doors that will never be opened again for some mysterious reason? I'm interested to hear what you have to offer. Thanks for watching. As always guys, my name is Danny Burke and I will see you all in the next one.